Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so um, I had a few questions about my moon, my Minmus crane, and uh, one of those kind of sticking out questions that um, I've gotten actually more than once is um, how do I connect? Uh, a piece to your crane how do you know if I build a crane how is it that you come up with the um, exact you know specification you know or whatever you want to call it to get the crane piece on there and have it fit up perfectly in you know when you're actually playing and I'm going to kind of go through that process um, one thing I start off with is my you know, this was the original launch vehicle. These, this is the exact same thing I have. You need the exact same thing. You, there's, that's the one thing that will pretty much cut out almost all the guesswork out of it. But there, there is still a, just a little bit, and that kind of is involved a little bit later. But what ends up happening is I kind of just go like this. I, I leave this here because this is the main core here so if I can't really delete this I would have to change the entire crane and it's just a waste of time uh, the weight of this isn't really gonna affect anything so much uh, I will say if you do have weight on this on the upper part here well at least with this crane design what ends up happening is it kind of pushes the legs out a little bit so you don't get um, you know a good estimate on how far away the um, you know like this is from the ground and you really that that's kind of one of the things that's almost crucial you need to know exactly how much distance there is between here and here because if it's too great of a distance it will not work it um you know these docking ports do have the magnetism so they will you know they they do have the ability to lift things a little bit but it, it's not um you know, it's not a great amount. You don't don't rely on it for much. I mean, certain things you'll be able to get away with really easily. Other things, um, you just kind of got to cross your fingers and just pray that it works. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building my RCS tank storage for Minmus. And yes, I am going to have five tanks uh, on the surface. I, I think that should be more than enough um i think it's actually way too much but that's just me and i'm probably going to end up using a lot of this um in transit and what i'm probably going to do is kind of build a rcs motor which is basically just going to consist of you know maybe 10 or 12 rcs ports just pointing in one direction and just using that as a source of thrust and I could possibly just land this whole thing on the moon, or I mean on Minmus, with uh, just RCS. I don't really know the forces at work, so I don't know if that's a possibility as of yet. So, you know, the design portion as far as landing stuff and getting stuff there is a little bit of a different um, setup. But, you know, you get the gist of it. Now, the one thing you want to do is kind of create, like, a baseline for yourself to understand um, better when... Because this is not going to be the launch platform, nor is this going to... Like, f for me, I'm not going to relaunch this crane just to launch this piece. I'm just going to build it here to understand exactly the, you know, basically what I need to do you know, what what I need to do to build this thing in order for it to work properly. Now, there is a little bit of a design, you know, flaw in it because of the fact that, you know, I'm going to have to rebuild this thing again and then figure it all out. But what I end up doing is kind of lining up to the cracks in the pieces. And that generally works very well for me. Uh, you know, I'm, I want to... I want a docking port on this side and one on this side, so that is going to be a baseline, like, normal thing. Uh, you, you just gotta... The one thing I will say with uh, the moon bases is always leave room for expansion, because you never know what it is that you're going to end up having to add later on, 
or if you want to add something later on you always have that option it's always there so I'm gonna add that just because it's kind of aesthetically pleasing now I'm going to just launch this right now as it is to see where the gear sit and then afterwards I'm going to um, do another launch with two pieces that are gonna be my you know baseline kind of uh, understanding where those pieces will sit so I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it like that for now now you can see like this thing is just getting pulled to the extreme now you, you, you there was a very big gap between there and that gap is just from uh, you know the weight of this object which is you know this is um, over 10 tons so I'm gonna decouple this and then I always do this and this is for good measure I'll pull away and then I'll come back again um, it, with docking ports you need to get roughly about this far away before the magnetism to reset so when you come back to see how it sits so you can see this thing has no play in it whatsoever it has absolutely no play you can see it's kind of wobbling around it's kind of doing a little bit of a dance now there is room here for me to do one of two things I can either a move these legs down a little bit or B I um, can add a satellite core right in here which I think is going to be the better option so I'm just gonna go back to the Space Center um, one thing is crucial too and I have a like an OCD about doing it and everyone kinda does that you know that constructs rockets and stuff try to refrain from hitting your safe your save button because if you hit your save button you're gonna destroy your rocket so you know you're gonna lose all your data about you uh, you know with your rocket and that's never a good thing you know it kind of sucks so that looks like I mean this might be a winner just the way it is right now which if it is it's gonna make it so much easier for design so I'll launch again yes clear um now this makes it easier too on just so many levels I, I you know I just want you guys to be able to have a good understanding on what it is I have to go through in order just to construct one piece of a moon base and you know I have like a this stuff I think I'm gonna end up deleting because it really doesn't mean anything anymore um, alright so this looks like it is working as far as connecting to the crane itself at least I think now the docking ports did just connect which isn't a good thing like that alright I mean that that works but I am it's always good to have a little bit of a gap I'm not gonna say a lot just a tiny bit uh, you know the less the better but um, you know if you have too much uh, it won't help you it, it really will hinder all your everything you're doing so you know having them be so close together like that um, it, it kind of isn't a great thing and that is one of the things all right start there we go now I'm liking this but I think I'm going to end up lifting up these legs just a little bit but I have to I have to add my um, kind of you know uh, whatever you want to call it wait um, I'm gonna go in the, the VAB yeah um, it, it, it's not that um, I'm trying to think I kinda just caught myself up on something that um, is going to make a little bit of a difference in overall design now that's going to be I need to add and this is not going to be a part of the platform whatsoever uh, it's basically just a um, trying to think of the name of it I can't even think of the name it's just going to be like our uh, control um, of understanding you know with our moon base it has docking ports that are on these and it's going to be connected to something like this so what we need to under know and understand is what the height of this is and how you do that is you know I 
did this because it actually worked out very well in my favor. Oh, I gotta fix that. Um, this actually worked out very well in my favor when I designed these. And I think I'm just gonna put this here for now. Um, what I ended up doing when uh, under construction of these is I ended up lining these legs fit up almost perfectly against this um, the square here like the, the the rectangle I should say on this uh, on this um, module piece so if you what you do is if you take your legs and I just lined them up right with that perfectly and then you go on the other side do the same thing uh, let's see here we go um, sometimes these don't want to attach and you just gotta move them around a little bit and then they'll attach don't know why but it's just uh, one of the little quirky things in this game among many other really quirky things of this game so um, I do that like that for another reason and that's because it actually helps out with symmetry a little bit so let's see there we go put that there and boom there we go so what we're going to do is then go back to the launch I almost hit save and what we're gonna do is just lower the gear and that's it and see if there's any conflicts with lowering the gear because that's another really big thing too is sometimes there's like it, the, the pieces conflict with each other so you gotta make sure a lot of little things and then you gotta figure out and redesign and redesign and redesign until you got something that works and it's solid so alright this thing is just kinda dangling here you can tell that the these legs are a little bit too high for this module so I'm gonna decouple it and see how far it falls so we got a little bit of distance there so um, you know once again I can do one of two things I think I'm going to lower the um, bring these up just a little bit and I'm going to end up lowering this the the little um, docking port piece here so end flight once again you know this is kind of what I have to go through just in order to get some of these pieces there it sucks but um, the reward is pretty high so I mean I'm, I'm pretty happy with having to do little things in order to achieve really awesome things so I'm gonna bring this up to about right at the end of the bolts there that that works perfectly and I'm gonna have to lower these so um, the I had them set up to where they were just I, I had this set up let's see um yeah it was about right there so I'm gonna bring it down to right here so that looks pretty good overall um, I still don't like how that's open but you know you gotta give certain things just gotta give you, you can't really have everything your way so let's see how this works out I'm hoping that this is the only or the last one I'll have to do um, you know it's uh, moon base design is a little hard with this game and you really have to think outside the box when you're doing you know you're creating I, I should say certain pieces in that mostly oh Jesus um, I have to end flight I didn't make the turn on the symmetry for that part so uh, no it, you really have to think outside the box not only with just building but um, sending these pieces to it, it really sometimes it is the most challenging thing you can ever really think of it, it, in some of the ideas you have to come up with are just absolutely weird insane nutty whatever you want to call it um, I you know I will say definitely build a moon base it's it's a fun process because not only do you have to go through just weird designs and just redesign after redesign but you end up kind of understanding better um, you know what 
kind of processes you need at work in order to build something like this. And let's see. So if I decouple this, this shouldn't fall too far. If there's a little play, it will be okay. So it's perfect. Now you got to test out this side too, just because it might throw off a little bit. So that's perfect. And now for the grand finale, undocking this. And now I'm going to go forward and go back. And let's see if it connects. Let's see. There we go. Now that is what I call a perfect piece. Um, I, you know, surprisingly, once again, I did not think it would be this quick, but what's that? Five RCS tanks? Jesus. There's going to be how much RCS? So there's going to be two of these actually on min miss. So there's going to be, um, that's going to be over 7,000 RCS fuel just sitting on the surface. Um, what I wish that this game had, and it's kind of like one of my little things, but, you know, they should put some kind of a checkbox or something where you can, um, you know, it wouldn't take much to code in, I guess, if you wanted, but a checkbox where you can choose whether or not these tanks are full or empty, you know, and by default, they would always be on full. So then you would be able to launch, like, four empty RCS tanks if you wanted to, or, you know, four full move you know uh four full uh empty or why well, I, I said full and empty in the same sentence amazing four empty you know fuel tanks or something you know it, it would just be a little bit easier because now i'm gonna have to figure out a way to launch five of these and basically get it there with just these five and that's it so that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge but i'll probably figure something out but Anyways, guys, if you haven't already, check out my Twitter and my Facebook. I always post my latest Kerbal updates on my videos and all that good stuff. I know this wasn't the longest episode, but I always try to at least get something out. Let's try to get these um, modules connected back up again. I don't think that's going to even be possible. You know, if I can do... Uh, if I can connect some of these modules, I'll, I'll, um, there we go, we'll have like a wrecking ball now. Ah, break all the, oh my god. Yeah, so, anyways, um, if you haven't already, check out all that good stuff I was talking about with the Twitter and Facebook, because I always post my latest Kerbal updates, and all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.